hello, hello. The, uh, let me remember who I am. Uh, let's see, my new name in the temple was Abel. I'm able to do videos. That's how I can remember my new name in the te uh, in the temple. Anyway, this is Abel, <laughs> Sir David the Bard, asshole, misfit, retard. I have a lot of names that people have called me over the years. And, um, anyway, uh, I'm here in one of the uh, cafeterias in the uh, Provo, uh, or not Provo, in the uh, Utah school system. And I have a, a surprising article f for you. Uh, it surprised me. It make, It's funny, but it's sad. It's funny, but it's sad. Um, first of all, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> I, I was hit with a little bit of uh, personalism on this one. Um, Allison owes like six dollars and eight cents over at the cafeteria, and I keep getting emails every day saying, you know, we need to pay that six dollars and eight cents, and we do. <laughs> we do need to pay it. In fact, I just yelled down to Mercy, we need to go pay that money. So when I do this video, I won't be a hypocrite. So anyway, um, there's uh, um, things that go on in a public school that really uh, damage kids. And it could damage kids for a lifetime. There are certain trauma, uh, traumatic experiences we all have um, when um, we don't get over it and it influences our lives. So anyway, um, this school district, um, the kids, and this is elementary, this isn't high school kids, this is little fourth graders and little third graders and first graders. They're going through the line for lunch. And, of course, that's one of the fun things about school is food. You get to eat with your friends and the excitement and the socialization. Well, here's what happened. Some of the kids' <laughs> parents were like me. We owed $6.08. And um, they let the kids go through the line and get their food. And then the kids got their food, and then they came to the cash register, and there wasn't any money in the children's account. So the children um, went and sat down uh, to eat, I guess, assuming that the school does what they do to us. They just bill us, and then we write a check. Well, here's these little third and fourth and first graders sitting at the table laughing and having fun. <laughs> and the dietician comes over to their table and picks up their food plates and their food, um, you know, thing that carries the food, the, uh, what do they call that damn thing? Anyway, they take the food away from the kids. Well, 40 of the kids are laying there crying on the table going, what the hell, where did my lunch go? And then they threw the lunches in the trash in front of the kids. That to me is sad. It's funny. The story is funny because it's Mormons, and this is what Mormons do. Punishment. You, you pay, you pay, and you pray. Well, the little tiny kids, they don't know. And there's some parents like me who don't give a fuck. You know, if I owe money, I'll just send it when I'm ready to send it. I'm not trying to rip the school off for $6, uh, even though they rip me off for hundreds a year. But anyway, um, these poor little kids are sitting there bawling their eyes out. Now, here's the sad part. One of the kids, one of the little girls went home and she made 40 lunches to take back the next day to the kids that didn't have lunch. That's quite a little girl. That's quite a little girl with that kind of compassion. And so um, it, it's the typical Utah thing. They do things inside the bubble. They don't have any boundaries. They don't have any common sense. They don't know what the real world is like, and they think that they can uh, force everyone to think and believe the way they do. And when you take 40 lunches away from little kids and then throw them in the trash can uh, in front of the kids, what does that say to a third or fourth grader? I have no value. My parents are poor. I have uh, lied, cheated, or stolen because I'm being punished now. I'm humiliated and I'm embarrassed. Is that what schooling is all about? Well, in Utah, evidently. In Utah, evidently. I, you know, many times uh, the Mormons just don't have health in the navel, mar marrow in the bones, strength in the loins, and the uh, sinews. They're just stupid. 
They're hateful, mean people. Thanks.